everyone, Comic Viewy here, this time reviewing on issue 3 of Edge of spider Getting. Now, as you know, spider Getting was another Spider-Verse event that introduced us to different versions of Spider-Man. I know one issue was meant to have the Marvel Spider-Man PS4 game version, this one is meant to have Peter and... Uncle Ben as a tag team duo. And it starts off how at a bar the version of Uncle Ben goes, Oh, dead. No, you meant extinct, rat. Ugh. And so he offers him a drink and tells him his story, which he begins how when he was getting some paint, he ended up collapsing on the floor near a subway. And of course, we see this version of Jameson wrapped up in webs. We kind of see how this version of Peter Parker is meant to be like a YouTuber. And kind of meant to be a bit more of the childish version of Peter. You've got the version of Aunt May who's Spanish. And they want to keep what happened to Uncle Ben a secret from Peter. And we've got a version of Peter saying, Come on Uncle Ben, please! My prescription is on this damn contraption somewhere, Pete. I need it. And he says that, you know, he needs a break from the web. And pretty much has a hard time getting using the phone and that. And finds out, to his surprise, that it has Spider-Man videos on. And of course he wonders where Peter is, but fails to notice him, like, showing off in his Spider-Man costume. And even this version of Peter manages to stop Uncle Ben's killer. And it's even revealed that he did inherit Peter's powers by a blood transfusion. And even Uncle Ben starts to put two to two together. So of course this version of Peter takes on a kind of armoured super villain. And pretty much speaks some Spanish, which I don't know what they're talking about. So... The version of Uncle Ben, who kind of looks like if Mario was a spider warrior, saying, Damn it, I don't got a one-liner. Whatever you know, the does. And so there's a few punches and blows. And even Uncle Ben manages to take down the armored villain. And it's kind of revealed to Uncle Ben's dismay. That turns out this guy was defending his neighborhood from being turned into another stock box. And you can tell he does feel responsible for putting this man in prison as he was defending his neighborhood. But Peter points out that, that he was crossing a line and that he could have hurt innocent people. But you can tell Uncle Ben is in the right, but in the wrong. He was in the right to defend his neighborhood but was in the wrong for doing it the wrong way. And of course they decide to become a duo team by taking on Mysterio, um, Ostriches, and life turns out great for Peter and Uncle Ben. They're pretty much the Mario and Luigi duo. And even the bartender asks what happened, and he says that it what, what was great until one event. Craven's Last Hunt, where Uncle Ben manages to get out, goes back into Craven's headquarters, and beats the merciful crap out of Craven. And just as he's about to cross the line, Peter does recover from the drugs and that, and even Uncle Ben admits that it's over, and he says that we that that it can't be over. And he says that, you know, I'm an adult, I need to make these decisions. And Peter quickly takes Craven to a hospital, knowing Uncle Ben went too far. And leaving Uncle Ben to realise that he did push Peter away, even though it was intentional. So of course, he still has a few drinks. And eventually it's revealed that after the events of Craven, him and Peter do make up, and are on better terms. So of course, just as he offers him a place to, you know, stay for the night, Uncle Ben decides to still carry on, 
and knows full well that crime is still around. And yeah, this is the story. So, issue 3 does feel like the Spanish version of Spider-Man. It does have an interesting concept of an of a nephew and uncle team, and I wish we could have got more with it, with this issue, but it's a bit of a hit and miss, but still readable, so I think it deserves a thumbs up. Still good, and still alright. So, comic reviewer here, signing out.